Hello, my name is Morgan Frost and welcome back to KMTV, coming at you from Pocatello, Idaho. So today's topic is on aging and how it is portrayed in the media. Um, as we all are familiar with, aging is not something that's seen in a positive light in media today. Um, it's, seen, it's seen as something that should be avoided or prolonged for as long as possible. Um, as adults progress into older adulthood, they're seen as less attractive, less useful, more frail members of society, which just isn't true, but that is the narrative and the agenda that is being pushed onto media and society today. Um, there are brands that have built their entire companies around anti-aging products, whether that be hydraulic acids, facial creams, wrinkle erasers. Um, those products are made to promote this anti-aging uh, phenomenon that has taken over our society today um, and aging is such a normal part of life it is something that cannot be avoided but um, that's just something that is not agreed with in society today um, so in this segment I wanted to look at the article how stress may accelerate aging of the immune system by the amazing Eric Kloplak from the Washington Post this article is interesting and why I chose it was because it pushes the opposite idea that aging is a normal and healthy thing and even provides solutions um, to this problem that normal aging people face. Um, so this article had a positive perspective on aging. Um, so it talks about how our immune system does decrease um, as people age, but social stressors can even uh, accelerate that decrease um, and make that happen faster. But it didn't have the idea or it didn't push the agenda that aging was a bad thing, it just was normal and came up with solutions for older adults who will face this problem. Um, so as I said earlier, the article um, talks about how immune systems efficiency will decrease as people age, um, but social stress can progress that aging process to the immune system. So things such as divorce, distance from friends as people age, um, retirement problems or financial issues that people may struggle with, those will take a toll on your body. So in this study, they looked at results from a study in the health and retirement uh, study to support this idea. They, t they had a questionnaire for older adults to fill out about how um, their stressors in their life. So things I mentioned again um, earlier, like divorce, friend, financial problems. Um, they also took blood samples of these participants to count their immune system cells, like the different types of those. And they found that the adults who had answered that they were more stressed had less immune system cells, uh, meaning that their uh, system had decreased at a faster rate than the others who were less stressed. Um, that just supported this idea further. Um, but there are, a, they give hope and um, solutions to this. I'm going to talk about how people can cope with their, their stress better to help slow down this process, even though it will inevitably happen. So things such as exercise, diet adjustments, or not smoking can help these older adults. Um, this article is not focused on the anti-aging agenda that is seen all over the media. Um, it's a real problem that adults will face um, and just give solutions on how to slow that down. Uh, aging is a normal part of life and is something that should be cherished. Um, it should be a time where you're focusing on your family, your kids, your spouse, what doing what you love. That's the beauty of aging and getting older um, and not hiding behind those anti-aging uh, schemes that we see in media today. Um, aging is a beautiful thing and I really hope that this segment helped to um, show that to you and help to change that narrative a little bit. So this is Morgan Frost signing off. Thank you.